story being told inside my head. Good morning, guys. Welcome to today's video. I am not dressed today. I'm in my PJs. I am going to do chores and then have a nice hot shower before we do something fun, something we've been dying to do. What are we doing today, Gabby? Riding storm. Riding storm, finally. We are going with Kaylee and we're gonna ride our butt off, right? At a walk. <laughs> we're at a walk storm, right? He's gonna be very bored just walking. Around. Yeah, I know, he wants we've to go. We've done that before and no, he did not like it. Yeah, so we'll see what happens. Welcome to today. And then he tried to kill me going over a jump bareback. Yeah, well, we're not going to do that today. Scared? That is not going to happen today. I'm too shy to straighten up my bones and be a man. I, I gotta tear this world up to let you in. you in yesterday's video that Willow, aren't you so happy with her though? Yeah. After that little lunging session with Kaylee where we each have whips, she responds better to a dressage whip. Yeah. And literally they show her the dressage whip and she's like, oh, I'm about to be trained. Let me jump the jumps and see if I get a treat. And then she jumps the jumps and she's like I'll excited do to do it. Do yeah. Do it multiple times without walking. Yeah, like she doesn't even need a treat every time or anything. Like she just does it she until. She does it like twice and like, okay. Sh treat. Should I get a treat? And if we say no, she can't have a treat. She's like, okay, let's do it again. Like literally. Like her kissing. Yeah, like she's incredible. Is, do you find her incredible? Like people say, Sh don't forget, she's still a horse. She is not a horse. She's she a, she's a dog. She's a ruby. <laughs> she is a ruby. She like she can't jump three feet and does not have springs in her feet. Yeah, ruby definitely has springs. But you know what? Willow's got a brain like I've never seen before. <laughs> I, I follow a you Instagram page called Toby the Miniature Horse. Is that what it's called? I forget. I'll have to. I have to look it up because there's a mini page on Instagram that I follow and she does amazing things with her minis. And I'm like, wow, she's really trained her minis. And now I'm thinking like, wow, you just show them something once and they learn it. Like, it's just incredible. Once they get the hang of it, especially mares, because they're smarter than geldings and stallions. Yes. Then... Secret of the world, you guys. Girls are smarter than boys. <laughs> yes. And um, then they'll do anything. For food, yeah, and we'll do anything for food. <laughs> when it's over. We just realized that the best time to go for a walk is first thing in the morning, especially on a Sunday when yeah. people are sleeping. When it's like the last oh. day of March break and you want Not to the last day of March break when you just want to sit on your phone and relax, Gabby says. <laughs> oh, careful. Walk where you think it's safe. Go slow with her on this awful terrain. Be careful. I will see what I've done. Let it go. Bring my poop shovel with me. Guys, I did some running and it felt so good. If you're running, you'd have to video. Oh, it's so good. I challenge you all to go out there and walk fast or run and see what happens to your body and your mind. I want to take off my snow pants. All right, take off your snow pants. We're at a strip in the middle of the road. I have to tell you, it's below zero today. Everything is frozen. I like to go. I had no gloves. 
But my gloves are actually, hands are actually warm. I threw my coat on the ground. I want to run some more. Yeah, that's why I'm taking these off. I think I'm going to get Stella some boots. You know, those rubber boots or those boots that are for trails. I'm going to get them for her to protect her feet. I know she has shoes on the front, not on the back. Because I think this is going to be something that we're going to do all spring. Days pass and I'm still the same. you guys you guys might remember if you watched this last year look at this yeah we are we we bought gum yeah, okay listen it's like eight bucks for like a huge pack gabby i have a question for you what happened last year when we worked at when we helped out at our barn that we used to be at fiona's mm -hmm. all of our boots oh. disintegrated uh they got all wrecked and now look what happened to gabby's boots this year show them these are my mom's every pair of boots gabby's worn Just this like winter this stuff in the inside are destroyed so and i'm gonna then, buy her and then, and then and then i have when i yeah do. that's the worst from right mucking out and then as soon as you step in water like like literally a second you're like, soaked all right mom uh, these boots are kind of getting destroyed yeah anyway we are headed down to feed our ponies and then we're gonna okay. go to the barn and we're gonna have yeah. a ride on storm praise god oh. we're meeting Haley there and usually that's that will work out for us. But anyway, we're also going to, yeah, Gabby's, Gabby's like, I don't care about the sass. I'm riding him today. So let's go feed our horses some lunch. Sam has been working in the barn this morning as evidenced by the tools and the mess but yeah he created this little wall thing or so basically oh, this thing that he built can hold why don't i put like i can put like another saddle another saddle no another how about saddle. right here and then i can put the halters beside it no? then my thousand then my four thousand dollar saddle well uh, go there so anyway basically we can hang up three saddles now and we have how many saddles do we have we have three. four. We have four saddles. Four. Storm's old saddle and my new saddle. And we oh, want to buy, want to buy a Western saddle. Oh, Hi. Why are we feeding them in there? Cause they need to go outside. Eh, they were there, so. No, no, outside. Put it outside. They gotta go outside when it's nice out. Anyways, I'm, I, I appreciate Sam doing all that work. I just have like a certain look that I like and we argue over it every single time. Like, I like being centered and, and made a certain way. Like, to look a certain way. I don't, I don't care about the work that he did. I care that it's centered a certain way. It's hard to explain. Sam thinks like practically and I think aesthetically. So this is what it's gonna look like when he's all done. And then there will be a shelf on the top so there will be a little bit smaller of a piece of wood centered above that piece of wood and then two more saddles things on there and then there will be a bench underneath there that our buckets will go under and we'll be able to sit down and put our boots on and stuff so that's what it's going to look like so then we have this and i'm not sure where we're going to put it but you may always be right but i always need to be happy this is where i want to put it and it'll have to be cut it needs to go yeah it's okay if you cut this off and put it the whole length of the wall you can fit two and i'm okay with that because we always buy so stuff and we're gonna need put three of these things no i only want two so then you, you put one and you want a space or do you want to attach it to that yeah uh, yeah you can put a little space and put two so how high do you want it, it needs to go higher than stella's mouth because stella likes to find anything she can to play with which is why this easter we need to buy our girl our horses some fun toys Maybe we need to get a chain here so she can't go yeah, I want to like store our jumps and stuff there and have a bench. 
I don't know. We'll probably end up storing our jumps over there in a... Yeah, anyway. We won't be there in the summertime. All right, we have to go. We are going to see Storm and I need to clean the kitty litter box. Being married is so hard. There's so many things that I want done a certain way and I have to ask him to help me because I lack the skills to do the things that I want and he has those skills. But I think when I ask him, he sees it differently than I tell him and then we end up at odds. And I think that's probably one of the biggest reasons that women, especially like people, women with horses, learn to do so much on their own because they don't want to have to put up with their husbands. So we are at the barn now and it is not as muddy as our place. We just met the other day. I saw hey Stormy Pooh, we're about to take off your dressing and just let you be free. Oh yeah, so... It helps a lot. Okay, try, try the back leg. <laughs> <laughs> That's the true test, the back leg. <laughs> Um, Gabby is showing Kaylee her magic brush that was sent to us by Mel, and everybody is in awe of how amazing they are. Well, it won't get rid of stains, but like, <laughs> it won't get rid of stains. <laughs> we have Madison here, you guys might know, she has a YouTube channel too, um, called Paso Fever, because she has a Paso Fina, Paso Fino <laughs> horse, and she just did Gabby's um, polo, wraps. polo wraps for her. I didn't put them too far down because I didn't want them to be a little bit unbalanced because of this cut on this leg. Yeah, that's so good. Thank so you so I much. Put it up a little bit on this leg too, just so it wasn't too tight. Yeah, because what? Yeah, thank you. That's so kind. All right, is this the day you're gonna ride him? Yes. Yes. Let's I'm just not gonna go into the scary end because at that gate at A back there, um, a person's horse bolted. He's calm. He's calm. Right. Just remember to go slow. Yeah, he probably needs his friend. Kaylee gives Gabby confidence and Storm gives, no, Tex gives Storm confidence. And then Madison is setting up some a little bounce for Kaylee. <laughs> so new saddle, finally getting to ride in it. That scared me. Well, how's the saddle? Good. It's good just to go slow with him because his cut, we have to open it and just let it heal now because it's not healing. Come on, Stormy. So I want to know how the saddle is. It's is the pommel too high for you? No. Does it feel good? So essentially when she fit the saddle to him, she fit it so that it would set her back a little bit so that... Amazing. See, that's what happens when other people ride your horse. Never again. Aww. Don't you hate though when people ride your horse and then and like everything crazy. changes? Yeah, and yes. then it's better and then you've been working five months to do and they just make it happen Ooh, in one ride. But, think, but then you do that to other people's horse because we make mistakes that you don't make and then you fix our horse. I have worked five months on bending into the inside and getting in frame box. One lesson, one lesson. She gets in the frame of nope. it and bed. So what are the chances that Storm was taking medicine, 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 spooky, 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 stop the medicine, no spooky. So I think definitely it was the medicine because he seems normal now, except for the cut. So we're gonna try leaving it open because we've tried keeping it closed and hopefully it could start to get better. So even though God, we can't do anything on Storm, but walk around a little. I'm just glad that she can get on him and that she can work on the rattle. So it's already starting to feel different? Yeah. So people say it'll mold to him. And mold to my butt. Yeah. Because I'm going to be riding in it for like 10 hours. Yeah, she has to ride so 10 hours. Today. Yeah, so today will be an hour, half an hour. Yeah, so she's nervous because if she doesn't the wrong way, he actually hurts himself. Right Don't trot. You're not allowed. Tightening her I'm not even. He's I'm not even doing anything. Well, that's what you need to do then. No, because it actually causes damage if you don't do it the right way. He has to, like, puff up his body. These are all doing the, the motion right now, aren't you? He's got to use his back. 
not just his neck. When he just uses his neck, it causes him problems, and he's been doing good. But he does have a chiropractor appointment very soon. He's doing it? Oh, do it, do it on purpose. Oh well. So Gabby got to finally ride at Storm. All she got to do was sit on him and go for a little walk, but that's something, um, and he was doing much better. So I'm sure it was the medicine. But anyway, have you guys been following? Race car driver uh, had a fall a couple weeks ago, maybe two weeks ago now, and he had, shoot, um, he had a little stallion, and he's amazing. His name is, who? His name is Hercules, and I started an Instagram account for him, and race car driver has kind of taken it over and has been posting every day for Hercules' journey. So every single day he's posting a picture of his life, and I want to show you guys the picture that he posted today. This is the picture that he sent me this morning. Oh, I can't really show it very well, but oh my gosh, it's so beautiful. I'll post it on Instagram now if you guys want to see it, but literally this little boy is so, whoops, it's so stunning. He's over 200 pounds now, and he's only a couple weeks old, and he's just so flashy and so beautiful. If you guys want to watch him grow up and have a say in all the things that he's going to have to do, going to get to do in his life, like uh, race car driver is posted on there and let YouTube, um, as YouTube followers choose his halter color, and um, he does a lot of really fun things on his Instagram. But anyway, it is raising underscore Hercules, and this is this is him. Like, look at that face. How about we sit instead? And don't forget to make sure to hit that subscribe button down below.